you have to be very careful here in the uk i don't know about other parts of the world but here in the uk you have to be very careful i know some people will say oh i'm in the uk i cannot be scammed there are no four nines in the uk there are no g boys see we have a lot of them in the uk yes i almost got scammed plus my account was hacked recently so i'm just here to share my personal story my personal experience with every one of you so that you will be very very careful anyways welcome back to my channel if you are new to my channel my name is joanne and i'm based here in england i talk about life happenings of our nigeria africa asian brothers and sisters here in the uk and in the diaspora at large if it's something that interests you please subscribe to my channel and for my returning subscribers thanks for always coming back to check on my videos i do not take it for granted i love every one of you thank you thank you thank you thank you all right guys let's dive straight into the video like i said this is my personal story i just feel i should bring it out here to every one of us because we have a lot of scammers here that's the name a lot of scammers here in the uk so i'll run through the first one i almost got scammed of 2000 999 pounds yes i almost got scammed and then i'll also talk about how my account was hacked i'm still waiting to recover it at this moment that is why i'm bringing it out here to every one of you so that you don't get um scammed as well so i want to talk about the first one what happened was that you guys know that sometimes ladies you know want to change cars and then i told myself that oh it's time for me to change my car i saw this very beautiful car um, on face bay they call it facebook market normally i'll go to auto trader and um car guru and all that but that day i just saw this beautiful car on face bay and i was like oh my god this car is so beautiful because i have bought a car before on face bay some people will call it facebook market yeah i bought a car from there as well so that was like when i saw the car i was like okay this car is very beautiful the car is um volvo xc60 that's the car volvo else xc60 that is the model 20 uh, 2011 model yes 2011 model volvo xc60 so i saw the advert for 2999 pounds that's almost 3000 pounds and i was like oh my god this is a good the car is so beautiful it's a good deal i checked through the car i will try to see if i can you know get the pictures of the cars and then i'll put it by the side of this very video so when i saw it i was like oh my god this car is so beautiful <laughs> i really need to change my car and then i told my husband i saw a car on facebook facebook market it was like okay let me so when he saw it he was like this car is too cheap for the price i said no i've um talked with the person that want to sell it is a female most of the time they will use a lady to confuse you so that you will feel that okay you are shouting you are talking to a lady so the lady cannot scam you so it was a lady i shouted with she told me that why she is selling the car this cheap is because she relocated to finland and in finland they are driving on the other side of the um, road so it's not the car is not suitable for finland so i said ah okay that's a good day she said that's why she's selling it she's a nurse she said a lot of things we were shouting not talking on the phone we were shouting and then sending mails and all that she would send pictures and everything so i told her that i'm interested i was so eager to get the car and then i told her i'm interested she said okay um if i'm ready to pay i should let her know i said yes i'm ready so my husband said okay if that's what you want it's fine but tomorrow not call for me i said no don't worry i'm fine so i told the lady that i want to pay for the car and she, she now said um she is not the one to collect the money that she gave the car to a company to help her sell that the company are in manchester and me i live in southampton and i was like so how do i get the car 
so are they going to drive the car down here she said no i will have to pay online in their website after paying then they will drive the car come free of charge i say how ah, this is too good to be true how can you bring a car from manchester to Saturday free of charge i've done that before and i know the amount of money i paid and it was not as far as Saturn as manchester and i paid almost 120 pounds just to drive it down here so how come you are <laughs> telling me that they are bringing a car from manchester for me free of charge she now said yes that's what the company does that as soon as they deliver it i will drive it for seven days if i don't like it i can tell them they'll come and pick up the car free of charge as well and then they will refund me my money fully i say hey my money will be with you i said okay that's fine so when i told my husband he was like no that's not good you can't be dealing with people you don't know you don't know their office and all that i said no they gave me their website i logged in i did everything i spoke with them on phone they gave me account and all that my husband said okay now you sabi so when it was time for me to pay i've put in the money just to pay the money refused to go because I bank with Halifax and Halifax if I'm trying to transfer money that is over 500 pounds 1000 pounds sometimes they don't allow me they will just owe the money and call me on phone and then they will say oh nobody is trying to fraud you and, and all that so they seized the money the money did not go through and I called Halifax I said I'm trying to make a transfer of 2999 pounds and it's not going through so they now check and said yes they stopped it because they feel it's not a genuine transaction so they asked me what am i trying to do i said okay i'm trying to pay for a car that i saw online they asked me have you gone to see the car have you gone to see the people i said no they said they are sorry they cannot release the money they know it's my money but they cannot release it that this sound like um a fraud i was so disappointed i said why are these people like this i don't want those people to sell the car and then still I was still strongly and that I told my husband that this is what Halifax said he said I told you I'm not sure those people are genuine so I now called the man again and told him because the lady now directed me to the uh, manager of the company is a man I called him I said I'm sorry Halifax just confirmed that you you are fake you are free I fraudster and all that he said what do you mean I said yeah because the money the money is not going through and then I called Halifax blah 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 and then he said okay if you want I can give you another account number Halifax are always like that I'll give you another account details I told him no I'm sorry I'm not interested so quickly I went to the lady to shut her up to say you are a scammer blah 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 when I went to shut her up, her photo, the picture that she put there, vanished. So I could not even contact her. I say, ha, oh, that was her Halifax. My bank saved me of £2,999 scam here in the UK. So if you are coming to the UK, you feel that, oh, this place now, Yibo land, no Wahala. You have to think twice, oh, a lot of scam are happening, going on every day and then the other thing i want to talk about was how my whatsapp account was hacked this one is going on recently it is very very much fresh in town i don't know about nigeria but here in the uk they are attacking churches church church, church members so what happened was that i was busy on you know a um, friday evening i was thinking of how to take my child to um, their normal evening activities and then my phone rang and then he said oh covenant highways oh, covenant highways bless you bless you you know the way we greet winners and then he said oh sister i'm calling from the church oh winners chapel southampton i said oh brother how are you fine because my church will do first and second service is very difficult for you to know everybody because i always go to for first service and then he said oh we are trying to organize a meeting now zoom meeting by eight o'clock I said, okay, send me the link of the meeting because that's what we do. So I think these people, they've asked into the church group and then they've studied the activities, how we do our activities, how we send link, send code, send this and send that. So in that I said, send the link. He said, okay, I will send the link when we are about to start. I said, okay, that's fine. That's what they do normally. He now said, okay, please, are you busy? I said, yes, I'm very busy. And then I was busy. My children, they were dragging me left, right, center. I was like okay bros i will talk to you later i said okay wait wait before you go uh, let me send you the link so you send me the codes 
of the link that you are seeing on your phone so that I can add you to the prayer line. I said, okay, quickly. When I uh, saw it, I didn't even take a second note, a second look. I sent him the pin that just came into my phone. That was how my WhatsApp was gone. I could not do anything on WhatsApp. I quickly used my other phone, uh, my husband's phone, to call my pastor. I said, I look at what just before I could open my mouth, my pastor said, Did they call you to say anything? I said, He said, Oh, they are not from us. These people are hackers. They've hacked into different branches of our churches in different cities. So that's why I'm bringing this video here. Should, in case anybody call you and say, Meet in code, be careful. Do not give them any pin. So I have tried to retrieve my WhatsApp. They said, um, If I download my whatsapp on another phone put in my phone number they will send me a pin and then after seven days i'll be able to access my whatsapp so i'm still waiting this just happened on friday so i have few more days more to retrieve my whatsapp number and my whatsapp account please we have to be careful in as much as we are in a foreign land we think oh nothing is happening it's not only in Nigeria or in africa these things are everywhere because it is online people can even from africa you know try to scam you in uk they can be in uk and try to scam you in africa as well so you have to be careful this is all i have for every one of you i'll see you guys in my next video i hope this video is going to help somebody please share this video share it you don't know who this video is going to help have a wonderful day and bye